You're in an uncertain time, right? Uncertain time. Never is it more important to chop the moment. Stare at the spot on the tree. Don't worry about what's going on over here, over there, right? Because I'm gonna tell you what you're gonna do. When you walk into the locker room, you're gonna look at your phone and it's gonna be filled up with stuff. I think the situation is a perfect training ground for the culture that we've put in place. I will talk to you tonight about what's going on. When I know, you'll know. That's it. That's all we can do. If all of a sudden this thing, the, the big cruise ship takes a turn the other direction, we're getting back on, man. Get our pads on, let's go to work. You know, generally you have adversity that the game of football brings, that being a college student brings, but now take into effect COVID-19 and how it's changed to everything. Uh, I think it's a great opportunity for them to really put it to the test a lot faster. So don't, don't spend too much emotional energy worrying about all that stuff. Let's fix ourselves, do our job. So those of them that have grasped our culture and can really put it into practice, I think they're getting an opportunity to see how it works under fire. And to me, that's how you get better. You, 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 know, you, you attack something, you're going to make some mistakes, but you're going you're to succeed in some ways and you just kind of evaluate and fix the little things and you try a little harder and you try it again. And that's where growth occurs. You know, it's never linear right to the top. You have your ups and downs, but when you have trust and you have young men and group of people that are their coaches and the staff, when they trust each other and they continue to move forward, uh, it's really, really a cool thing to watch because relationships are formed you know, that I know from my first go around here at Rutgers, they're relationships that last a lifetime. We, we had heard rumors for the past two weeks, especially the last two days, that the Big Ten could be back. Sources have confirmed that the Big Ten is expected to announce this morning that football is back. Are they serious? Like, are we really going to play or? And as soon as we found out it was, it just instantly switched. Like, oh, I can't wait to play. Oh, we got to get ready. Oh, my gosh. It's unbelievable. I mean, we've been training since January, on and off. Here at home, we start back up in the summer. We don't know if we're having a season or not. And it gets canceled, and we're practicing for just the practice, which is good because we haven't practiced. But it's nice to have something ultimately to play for. The Big Ten announcing. We have confirmed that the Big Ten will return. The Big Ten is back. The Big Ten football is back. We've got a football season, fellas. When I heard it was the season, it was definitely kind of a shock, mostly because it was just like, wow, like, is this true? Or are they going to cancel it back again? But this being my last year, it definitely meant a lot to me to just get back on the field and just continue to play the game I love. <laughs> Life feels a little bit normal, even with the mask, even with the protocol, even with the swabs going up your nose every morning, all that fun stuff. Kind of once you hit the meeting room, things feel like fall again. It feels great to be back on the field with my teammates and my brothers. The energy is great out there. What's different? Everything is different. Like it, it's it's popping. Like every time you come into the building, there's a different kind of energy. Like you're like I said, like it doesn't matter if you're in the training room, if you're hanging out with the video guys, if you're sitting in the meeting room with the coaches, like everybody really has this goal and this vision now and everybody really believes that we can get there if you just chop enough. Anytime you get a new staff, new kids, there's kind of like a meshing or a gelling of personalities and play styles. There's always some bumps in the road. The coolest thing is, though, I think in the last few weeks, the buy-in has kind of escalated or accelerated. Guys are believing. Because of COVID, it slowed down that rule. But once you went back and got on the field, I feel like it was just clicking. It was just time you knew the season was coming. So that was probably the best part. It felt more normal once you were actually out there. I think as a quarterback, kind of being behind everything, you're starting to see it. We're making progress in the right direction. And Things are clicking. Just way too long away from football. You know, it's great to be with the kids. It's great to be on the field. It's just uh, an unbelievable opportunity to, to get back to what we love and, and what we know how to do. Yes, I can't wait to watch this culture live and breathe on the field. Family, trust, chop. That's how you're going to beat them. I feel really comfortable with the human beings, but I feel really comfortable with the value system that's being you know, built in this, in this program. It's definitely been a journey. I mean, it's been a little roller coaster, ups and downs. 
there's been a lot going on, but through the ups and downs, I learned a whole bunch of stuff and just, you know, through adversity, I learned how to just keep chopping. Right now, what I'm chopping at is just getting ready for the for Michigan State. It feels nice to just finally like have a team to focus on and then ready to play. There's a buzz going on around here. Everybody's looking forward to what we're gonna do this year. Get ready, because we're gonna chop. I mean, Rutgers football is back, officially. <laughs> the Big Ten coming back to play. It's time to play some football. We are looking forward to watching your journey with this Rutgers team. Greg Schiano, always a pleasure. Thanks so much for your time, Coach. Okay, Dave, thank you.